because Provenge and other drugs too are expressly approvable only for metastatic disease, I think we're going to see a stage migration in terms of what is M1 prostate cancer, similar to what we've seen in localized disease. So, you know, the boundary between M0 and M1 is of course completely arbitrary. Most men with castrate resistant prostate cancer have metastatic disease, it's just microscopic. So, the Standard bone scan obviously needs a certain volume of cancer to identify a metastasis. Well now, and, and I think to an extent there, until recently there has been a little bit of therapeutic nihilism. There wasn't a whole lot of incentive to find the metastasis, so there wasn't a great deal of progress in terms of scanning. Well now all of a sudden you've got treatments which are uh, expressly approved for visibly identifiable metastatic disease, well now there's more of an incentive to find them. So I think we are seeing trends toward more use of things like uh, fluorine-based PET scans and scanning at earlier, lower PSAs, uh, earlier stages of disease to try to, you know, to find these metastases. Now that of course has its own implications for, uh, you know, our concept of what CRPC is, our concept of what M1 is, and of course for cost. Uh, you know, Provenge has a fixed cost no matter when you get in the course of disease, but if you look at some of these other treatments that are administered pretty much on an open-ended, uh, with an, with an open-ended time frame in mind, uh, the cost obviously mounts all that much more dramatically as you move these treatments left in the treatment paradigm.